sa mga may kasalukuyang iniinda sa kanilang katawan. So, I hope nakatulong yon kung yun man ang mga kasalukuyan yung nararamdaman sa inyong uh, precious body. Precious talaga! Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, cancer. No? And also hepatitis. What else? Atherosclerosis and etc. Okay, let's start. Okay. Cancer. Kilalanin natin kung ano nga ba ang sakit na yan. So, cancer, what it is? Okay, a general term for uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells. Many kinds of tumors are specific to certain parts of the body. When tumors grow, they interfere with the normal functioning of an organ or tissue. The growth has no built-in breaks. Cancer cells are alive, and as they continue to grow, they also take nutrients from the host's diet or body reserves. Okay, so you know yun. Okay, what are probable causes for cancer? Initiating events such as general medical, general medical or industrial radiation, infusions of chemical such as a carcinogen into the cell, certain viral infections, heredity runs in the family, tendency to succumb to cancer cells. Okay, probable symptoms, cancer, cachea, a syndrome that often accompanies many types of cancers characterized by anorexia, inadequate intake of food, 
progressive malnutrition, accelerated weight loss, general ill health. So those are probable symptoms for a cancer. Helpful dietary management. Eat a high calorie, high protein, low fat diet, preferably with fresh fruits and vegetables, which are rich in the protective nutrients such as vitamins. No preservatives, please. No preservatives. Okay, no things to remember. Attention to diet can prevent or reverse poor nutrient status. What? <laughs> no, things to remember, guys. Attention to diet can prevent or reverse poor nutrition status. The cancer patient in good nutrition status is less susceptible to infections and probably tolerates cancer therapy better. Okay, that's for the cancer patient. Okay, there are possible effects of radiation and chemotherapy of nutrition status. So, I hope makatulong sa inyo itong guide na to na ipapakita natin sa screen. Hepatitis naman, kilalani natin. What is hepatitis, guys? So, what it is? An inflammation of the liver accompanied by rapid cell destruction. Probable causes? Virus transmitted through a contaminated food or water. This is known as acute viral type A. Hepatitis. Type A and E are transmitted through fecal oral. B. Blood transfusion from infected donors, sexual intercourse with infected partner, infected injection needles. This is known as acute viral type B hepatitis. C. Mushroom poisoning, carbon tetrachloride, trichloroethylene. Acetaminophen, halothane, isoniazid, chlorpromazine, oral contraceptive. This is known as acute, toxic, and drug-induced hepatitis. Another probable causes, disorder characterized by gradual but continuous dying of liver cells. Active inflammation and scarring of dead liver tissues, which may lead to cirrhosis caused by HEPA B virus and chemical or drug agents. This is known as chronic active hepatitis and also may occur as a result of viral hepatitis, known as chronic persistent hepatitis. Okay, probable symptoms, guys. Anorexia nervosa, abdominal discomfort, fever, headache, weight loss, jaundice, enlarged liver, tenderness of liver. Okay, that's the probable symptoms. Helpful dietary management. Have a high calorie, low fat diet. Provide frequent small feedings in the case of anorexia nervosa. Progress from clear liquid to soft diet depending on patient's tolerance during acute attacks. So that's your helpful dietary management for hepatitis. Okay, so let's go to atherosclerosis. What it is? The thickening and hardening of the arteries or blood vessels brought about by accumulation of lipid or mostly cholesterol plugs within the arterial wall. A reduced diameter of the arteries will raise the pressure of blood against the wall. Atherosclerosis is the most common type of coronary heart disease or disease affecting the arteries of the heart. Over time, an artery may be shut off completely, thus blocking the flow of blood. The result is that of all tissues dependent 
on that artery for oxygen and nutrients. If blood supply to the heart muscle is cut off, a heart attack can result. When an artery supplying blood to the brain is involved, a stroke can result. Kidneys, lungs, and arteries of the legs and arms can also be affected. Okay, probable causes, smoking, high serum cholesterol, high blood pressure or hypertension, genetics, diabetes mellitus, emotional stress, decreased physical activity. Note, the first three are the major risk factors. Probable symptoms, hypertension, are a risk factor and symptoms. Also, problems involving arteries of the kidneys, lungs, arms, and legs. Helpful dietary management. Eat foods low in fat, low in cholesterol, low in salt, high in complex carbohydrates, and in fiber. Another thing to remember, make all attempts to control risk factors whenever possible. Prevention is the best cure for atherosclerosis. For example, if you are diabetic and at the same time a hypercholesterolemic, then these two must be dealt with together to control your atherosclerosis. Okay, that's it for now. So I hope na katulong sa inyo ang information all about uh, atherosclerosis, hepatitis and cancer so that's it for now so i hope um uh, makatulong itong video na to. remember health is wealth don't forget to click the like button and subscribe and comment right down below bye